And right now we're going to be pairing with the MetaQuest 3. So tap on the first one. So if you put on your headset right now and you continue on with the whole setup, it's going to give you a code. So you can scan, by the way, you can use a QR code to scan this app, or you can go out and enter Wi-Fi details on your headset. So right now we're going to put that we already connected our headset to our Wi-Fi. So that's the option down here below. Right now you can choose which horizon profile would you want. We're going to put it as public, confirm. These are things that you're going to share. We're going to accept and continue. Then from here, just tap on next in the bottom. We're going to put in not now at the moment, and we're going to create a MetaQuest pin. This has to be four digits and it can be really easy or really hard, whatever you guys want. Tap on next after you do that. And it's going to look for your headset. So right now, put on your headset and you're going to see five digit code. Um, for some of you, if you haven't turned it on, make sure to turn it on. Once you turn it on, again, you're going to see that five digit code as you go on with the whole setup. It might ask you to connect to your Wi-Fi. Um, maybe not. Maybe you guys did the scanning thing, so you're good to go. But you should see that once you put on your headset. For some of you, and actually most of you, it's going to download some software updates. So you see those lights are turned on. And you see the fact that you might not be able to connect. It's because it's doing that. It's downloading those updates. Once that's done, we can continue on. So it's okay if you don't see those codes right away and it's just not hooking up, just let it download. And you can only see that if you're wearing your headset, by the way, you're going to notice that all the way on the top, just look up a little bit. You're going to see that it's downloading updates. Now, since your MetaQuest is doing an update, it's recommended to charge it up. Even if the battery is okay, it's a brand new headset. So that's why we have to plug it in, especially when running any updates. So make sure to plug it in some electricity. So that way you can just charge it up. And once it's done with the update, it's going to play a sound anyways. So you don't need to wear your headset at this point since it's running that update. So we're just going to plug it in and then it's going to charge up. So now my headset is hooked up some electricity. So how do I know my headset's charging? Well, usually you should see a light here unless your headset is restarting right now because the update, it's okay if you don't see a light right away, but you should technically should see a light right here. That would mean that it's, it's charging and everything's working like it should. So there's a lot of updates happening at this point, which is a good thing. And you might notice that you got something here, a screen saying that it's updating your controllers now. That's okay. You want everything to be updated so everything works properly. Just don't touch anything for the meanwhile. So usually this would ask you to put in a code that you see on your headset. For others, it's just gonna go right away and detect the code by itself. And all you have to do is just untap on allow. So we're gonna tap on allow, headset paired, and that's it. So again, some of you might even see the, the code, but you won't have to type it in. Others might have to type it in. It's fine either way. Usually if you're hooked up to internet, you're in the same Wi-Fi thing, then it should pair by itself without a need for a code. Although it might ask you for one anyways. So right now just tap on close, tap on allow, and you're all set. Right now, just go into your headset and just finish up with anything, download any apps that you guys want. You guys can download them from here. You guys can go into the store and download them from the app itself, but you can do it from your MetaQuest as well. At this point, I would say just go into your MetaQuest and just do everything from there. You don't need to do anything else from here, from within your app. All right, so at this point, you should see something like so if you're wearing your headset, just use this to point, so I'm using this right here you guys can see it and you just have to point at it then click and there you go just confirm your door your floor so you just do that by doing exactly what it tells you right there just pretty much touch the floor once you've done so press and confirm draw a boundary this is very important don't go too close to your walls or any furniture i would actually keep a good distance from your walls so at least 60 centimeters, let's say. Once you've done so, tap on confirm. And there you go. Reset your view. You can go ahead and reset it. Well, it's going to teach you how to reset your view and all that stuff. Just continue on. Make sure, since you're a new user, to look at everything this is telling you. So we're going to press that button right now. And just follow throughout everything. And you're going to see what it does. And everything that it does. But right now you're pretty much all set up right here you're gonna see this 
um, you can share or not share when I choose to share. And like I mentioned before, you can start downloading apps. You can do everything from within here. You don't need to do anything else. You don't need to, for example, go into your app if you don't want to. Or you can just go into your app on your phone and you can finish anything from there that you want to do, like download any apps or anything like that. But again, from here, you guys can go on and do everything. Uh, each game will have basically a tutorial of how to play it because they're all a little bit different. But as far as this video goes, we're all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.